Well, Lydia Lucente is with Amicus, a non-profit organisation which helps those facing the death penalty, and she joins us now live from London. Uh, Lydia, this has been described as a botched execution, a truly horrible thing to witness. What impact is this going to have on the execution debate and how executions are conducted? Well, thank you for having me. Um, with regards to the current state of the death penalty in the United States, this will impact it in the sense of the current argument is whether or not the way that the executions are conducted with the lethal injection drugs is actually a violation of um, the individual's uh, Eighth Amendment rights, um, which is to prevent them from experiencing cruel and unusual punishment. So this goes uh, along the same lines as what happened in Ohio to Dennis McGuire in January, where that was also a botched execution. And that's due to the fact that the current drugs that are being used in lethal injections are not being regulated. They're, they, um, there's a lot of secrecy. There's no transparency that's currently going on um, because of the fact that there was a ban from EU pharmaceutical companies um, back in 2010, uh, the United States has now had to come up with new um, compound drugs, and they're using compound pharmacies. And what's going on is that there's a lot of secrecy as to wh what these pharmacies are doing and also what drugs are actually being used and, and actually knowing what kind of effects these drugs will have in particular um, in executions. And that just goes to show that we don't know what is actually being used in these executions and it's it is causing people to experience torturous deaths and that is definitely a violation of their eighth amendment right yeah and clearly this this lethal injection uh wasn't particularly effective uh, in this case so i mean what, what's going to happen now are there any legal ramifications will other executions now be halted while they try and sort this out I do know that um, the governor of Oklahoma has put a stop to the um, second execution that was supposed to take place just after Lockett's execution um, on Tuesday, um, and that is Charles Warren. So she has said that there will be a stay for at least 14 days, but whether or not that means there's going to be a moratorium in Oklahoma specifically, that's unknown. I do know that the ACLU president has said um, it's specifically in Oklahoma that they want an immediate moratorium on executions until a full investigation is conducted. Interesting stuff, Lydia. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, Lydia Lucente there from the uh, organization Amicus. Now, Ukraine's acting president, Alexander Turchinov, says his forces are helpless to...